Good morning, friends. I'm so glad that you are joining in today on this Thursday, April 23rd, 2020. Today, we're gonna go ahead and talk about flowers. Those beautiful things that we're seeing more of outside right now. Maybe when you're outside playing or riding your bike or your scooter or going for walks, you're seeing more and more flowers. And we get to enjoy their pretty colors and their shapes and their scent. Well, those flowers come from those teeny tiny little seeds that we talked about on Tuesday. And when they're planted in the earth or in dirt in a pot and you give them or the earth gives them sun and water, then they start to sprout out of the dirt and they become these beautiful flowers that we see. And that's what happens during the springtime. The weather gets warmer and we see more and more flowers blooming. And so that's what we're gonna go ahead and talk about today. So let's go ahead and start. Stand up if you're not already doing so. And let's go ahead and start with our feet. Add our hands. It's time to start our day. It's time to start our day. It's time to give a great big cheer and we'll be on our way. Hooray! Let's do it fast. It's time to start our day. It's time to start our day. It's time to give a great big cheer and we'll be on our way. Hooray! Now we'll slow it down. It's time to start our day. It's time to start our day. It's time to give a great big cheer and we'll be on our way. Hooray! Nice job, my friends. Go ahead and make sure that your feet are planted firmly on the floor and grow tall. Send your shoulders down your back and we'll take a big deep inhale together and we'll reach, reach, reach toward the sky and slowly let our breath out. We'll go ahead and we'll do it again and we'll reach, reach, reach. Slowly let it out. And this time we'll reach, reach, reach on our inhale and we'll bring our hands together and we'll slowly bring them through to our heart and our prayer hands are right here in front of our heart, pressing gently into our heart. And we'll take a big deep breath in, close our eyes and think about how much God loves us. And then open our eyes and let that breath out. Let's go ahead and start with our prayer. Glory to God as the angels sing. Thanks be to God for everything. God, forgive me as I forgive others. Bless everyone, my sisters and brothers. Last of all, dear God, bless me. Amen. Good job. Let's go ahead and we'll remain standing tall and we'll take that right arm and we're gonna lift it up high in the sky while our left arm, arm just taps right by our side. And that arm that we're reaching with, we're gonna fold it over, place it on our heart and say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good job, my friends. If you wanna go ahead and take a seat now, let's go ahead and get those thinking caps out, tie them on, give them a little tap, and then I have a question for you. Who remembers what date I said it was? Can you remember what month we're in? And it is flying by. That's right. It's the month of April. Does anyone remember what, how many months have gone by? Four months. That's right. Let's go ahead and count. One, two, three, four. Let's go ahead and cut the sounds in April. Put your arm out. April. How many sounds did we hear? How many cuts did we make? That's right, two. Good job, let's put it out there. April, way to go. And then who remembers the day of the week? Let's see, we were here 
on Tuesday, the last time we got together. What is today? Today, that's right, is Thursday. Let's go ahead and cut that. Put your arm out. Thursday. How many sounds did we hear? How many cuts did we make? That's right, two again. So, and let's put that out there. Oops, Thursday. So April has two sounds in it and Thursday has two sounds in it. Good job. Let's go ahead and count how many days in the month of April have gone by already. Start with the number one. You ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Keep going. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, whew, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. That's right, twenty-three. Twenty-three. So today is Thursday, April 23, 2020. Good job. And like I said, we're going to talk about flowers. All the flowers that we are seeing out and about today because it's springtime and they're starting to bloom more and more. And so maybe you have some flowers in a garden at home. And so I drew a flower for us today because I want us to think about the parts of a flower. Like we have parts, we have a head and shoulders and arms and we have legs and knees and feet. Now a flower has those same parts. And if you can see here, I started with the little teeny tiny seed that would have been the beginning of the flower. And then who knows are these things that are down in the ground on the flower? Does anyone know what those are called? You guys are so smart. They are called the roots. And they're kind of like our feet that hold us up strong. The roots are in the ground and we can't see them. This is the grass line here. So they're down in the dirt. Does anyone know what this long piece is here? That's right, it's called the stem. And the stem of the flower is like our body of the flower. How about these things? What are these called? Good job, they're called the leaves of the flower and they're kind of like our arms. Yes, similar to our arms. And then how about this pretty part at the top? What is that? That's considered the bloom of the flower. So we have the bloom the stem, the leaves, and the roots. And so maybe when you're out to the outside today or outside in the next couple of days, maybe you can find a flower and you could go ahead and name its parts. And I thought it would be fun to make a flower today. And so there are so many different ways that you can make a flower. So I just found stuff that I had around um, my house and I had a paper plate and then what I did was I just cut strips of construction paper and glued that to the back of the paper plate to make its petals and then I added a green strip does anyone remember what that's called that's right it's the stem and I also added that's right their leaves good job and so you can make a flower, you can draw a flower, you can make a flower out of the things that you have at home. I even saw where you can go ahead and trace your hands, cut them out, and then that could be the bloom of the flower or that could be the roots of the flowers. So many different ideas. And then I just dotted the, with the dot markers 
on the inside of my flower. So I'm anxious to see the flowers that you make and uh, post the pictures on our Shutterfly. And the story that we're gonna read today, or have read today, is um, The Tiny Seed by Eric Carle, one of my favorite, favorite stories. And then we have music to go along with um, our story, and it is all about flowers too. So I look forward to the flowers that you make. Maybe you'll find some flowers while you're out and about in the next couple of days. And if nothing else, just enjoy the flowers that are all in bloom now in the springtime. Okay, boys and girls, we'll go ahead and we'll say our goodbyes. Goodbye, my friends, well, it's time to go. Goodbye, my friends, well, it's time to go. Don't want to leave you, but I really must say goodbye, my friends, goodbye. We'll put our heads together and we'll bow our head. Bow my head and close my eyes. Teach me how to pray. Fold my hands and help me say thank you, God, today. And boys and girls, I thank God for every single one of you. Oh, we miss you all so, so very much. Stay well. Stay healthy. See you next week. Bye for now.